all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, uh, Natalie's, brother, Natalie's brother broke up with his girlfriend as well, and we about to get into this story. Um, people have been talking about it, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm just here to get into it with y'all. Let's get it. <coughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So, I haven't even brushed my teeth. Oh. I got off to a pretty rough start. Um, the amount of text messages and notifications and YouTube messages or YouTube comments and Instagram comments and even on TikTok, like the amount of information that I received this morning was overwhelming. Like, I obviously don't know what was said. But like, I don't understand why anything was said to begin with, because every time anybody asks me about them, I'm just like, we don't talk. That's it. That's it. Why say anything about me or imply anything? I feel like you're just trying to stir the pot and I hate that. <laughs> off of me and it won't Damn. come off she done made that channel for her and the kids that's crazy oh, like it's everywhere it's in my nails and everything but anyway um so apparently cena posted a video <laughs> i don't i don't know um what the context was and i probably should watch it the thing is i tried to stay off there wait is cena the one is Cena's ex-boyfriend messing with her brother's girlfriend? Because if so, that's crazy. Because <laughs> what she got to do with it? Oh, that's crazy. I don't know what's page. going on. And even if it has my name in the title, like, oh, are you, you know, whatever with my ex or blah, blah, blah. I oh, to it, it is it. that. Page. and even if it has my name in the title like oh are you you know whatever with my ex or blah 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 i try to just not look at it because i feel like it's going to upset me i feel like it's going to do something and, and it's going to set me back you know what i'm saying and i'm just trying so hard to move forward with my own life and my own issues and my own things that i need to deal with so it's just like really frustrating and Every time I see something that's on their page that pops up on my YouTube or whatever, I just ignore it. I put it to the side. And apparently, that's not enough. I don't know. I just can't. I can't do it. And you guys obviously made it clear that there is an issue. So, um, from what I understand, there was it was implied or someone felt like, you know, Brian and I had something. So let's clear that up. When Josh and I broke up originally, we both stated that no one cheated. We both stated that it was a mutual agreement. We were just not meant for each other. And that is 100% true. I would never cheat on Josh. I would never cheat on anyone. I don't know how you guys even come up with this like you got i don't know a lot of you have been following us for what five years now and it's just it's mind-boggling to me that that would even cross your mind just because josh and i broke up and then six months later or something cena and brian broke up or oh so people done she got receipts of bullying so people don't put that together you know, officially broke up or whatever will happen. You know what I'm saying? Like people go through stuff. I have, there's so many people breaking up right now. It's just honestly a coincidence. She, you know, is taking her space. He's taking his space. And same for Josh and I. It's just the, the fact that it happened at the same time is just really stressful. And obviously like 
Josh and I are working through our own stuff, but we're co-parenting just fine. We get along just fine. We don't talk crap about each other. We communicate okay. Like, no, we don't like, hey, how's your day going? But, you know, like, I drop off the kids. Hey, how are you? Like, I literally just said this in the last video. Like, in the video that I was talking about it, like, we're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we perfect? No. Do we have a lot of stuff to work through? Yes. But for the most part, we are doing a lot better than most when it comes to, like, this whole co-parenting thing. Um, I just, the last couple of days, like, the last couple of days have been really freaking overwhelming. Uh -huh. So, like, to wake up to, I'm sorry, I can't talk, like... Uh, I'm not even on my period. <laughs> like, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> like, um, the last couple of days have been really overwhelming. So, like, we, me waking up to that, it was really freaking emotional. I'm just, I do my best to stay away from Natalie and Cena and Josh and everything that they got going on over there because I just, you know, I need my own time i need my own space that was a decision that i made i made the decision not to talk to them whether they don't want to talk to me or not that's fine we don't let me tell y'all something when i'm in tour with anybody i mute everything <laughs> anything dealing with your name is muted it don't even have to have nothing to do with you if the fucking fans keep saying your name and it don't even have to be nothing wrong with you and the person they talking about people just messy as fuck so i mute it all i don't see shit <laughs> period like that's their brother <clears throat> excuse me be with your brother support your brother fine but oh, i'm getting you out of here boy <sighs> like i said i don't know what it is that she said but i'm just trying to find my own peace i'm just trying to find my own like mm -hmm. i'm just trying to find myself and i know that i need to separate myself from certain people in order to do that you know what i'm saying it's better for me it's better for my heart it's better for like there's just so much oh, there's always so much going on in their lives that i feel like the last few months have been so peaceful because I don't need to deal with other people's drama and lives or whatever it is that they got going on. You know, I deal with mine and that's it. Like, and I'm going through enough as is. So it's just Facts. better for us not to talk right now. But like, I don't know, waking up this morning was like the icing on the freaking cake for me. What? Like I said, get to the receipts. Just to get through it and it's just Girl, mute them folks. Sally is the best thing in the world. I try my best to take the high road. Mm -mm, I try my best not world. to let people get to me. And if you know me, I am like always that person for everyone else. I'm like, I bet you can take the high road. High road you. is easy. Don't let them take that power from you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like ignore, 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 ignore. Don't react, don't react, don't react. Because I have a tendency and I have a past of emotional reactions, emotional reactions, doing exactly what I feel. And like, and like, it's never ended well for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just taking the time to really do that. And then yesterday, fucking Jazz, Natalie's best friend, writes me a damn text message. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, keep Natalie's name out your fucking mouth. Like. Girl, why the hell are you texting me? Why the hell you got my number? How is it that when Natalie falls out with me, you went with Natalie, obviously, because she's your best friend. But you think it's okay for you to text me. I would have blocked all their numbers. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all don't even understand the lengths I will go <clears throat> to not let anybody ruin my happiness. Because people can. 
they got too big of a following to to not. That's crazy. I'm so mad at myself. Natalie need to check her I'm fucking so friend on, unless Natalie the one who told her to fucking text her. reacting because I wrote her back with the quickness. I wrote her back so oh, fast. Shit. So <clears throat> her name would have been no name. Hey, beautiful soul, just checking on you. Been praying for you for peace and stability. You are an amazing person. Shit happens. It's how you move forward. Let her know. Ah. And then please leave Natalie's name out of your mouth. Girl, but ain't nobody talking about Natalie and what you gonna do. Please let me know. Keep your drama to yourself, little girl. Bye. This ain't high school. Girl, it's so sad to be that old and still be clout chasing. Baby girl, my numbers are growing with the posting about me. Pay attention. You're right. This ain't high school. That's why I said what what the fuck I said. Oh, girl. We wouldn't have been texting either. Um, uh, why you not trying to get your start? That's why you said Natalie's not trying to get your start, right? I know she's popping, but damn, everyone's laughing at this shit. Baby, who even, I hate when people say, who even are you? Uh, who even are you? Natalie's groupie, Natalie's groupie, the bitch, the bitch that's doing more than you, got more money than you, and you ain't been, and you. And ain't been ran through. Oh, man. Freaking mad at myself because I'm not supposed to let people fucking get to me. And I did. And truth be told, Natalie's name wasn't even in my mouth. I posted on my close friends that I feel, like, really alone right now because, like, I'm trying to make queer friends in the community. And I feel like, you know, everybody what? knows Natalie. And I'm trying I feel, like, really alone right now because, like... I'm trying to make queer friends in the community. And queer I feel like, friends. you know, everybody knows Natalie. And I'm trying to separate myself from Natalie. And I feel like all the friends that I am trying to make, all the friends that I'm trying to be around, whatever, so that I like, because I'm going through like this transition. And I want people that understand me and understand and have been through the same things that I'm. Welcome to the club. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Hey, fuck them friends. Fuck anybody that got an attachment to Natalie. Let Natalie have that shit. That is your power, honey. You are begging it almost to have some type of involvement with the, I guess, gay community. Because I don't know y'all L.A. people on some queer shit. I don't even know. The queer shit, gay shit, whatever. What you need to do is get your community together as in the people who support you, go live. See who really supports you. Some of the best people I ever met in my life are behind a damn computer screen, okay? That I can talk to every day about whatever it is I got going on. Let me tell y'all something. Stop trying to hang on to people who don't want you. Let it go. Other people want to do other people. Let them do them. Oh, I've learned so much. I feel so great. <laughs> Listen. Y'all got to let other people do them, and you got to do you, honey. I'm going through the same thoughts that I'm going through. All this crying and shit, and I fuck that. Like I expressed that. Hell no. Everyone knows Natalie, and I feel like I can't really mm -hmm. be in those same circles without running into her eventually, which we do enough of. You know what I'm saying? And then Jazz goes and texts me, aggressive, and I'm like, girl... Keep that little baby shit to yourself. Like, what are you really going to do? Are you threatening me? Like, you're threatening me? I shouldn't have wrote back. Mm -mm. Do you understand? I shouldn't have wrote back because... She shouldn't have been able to get the text through. <laughs> Boy, muting and blocking is a powerful motherfucker. I'm telling you. For your sanity. Girl, her ass would have been blocked first because this, this ain't the first time her best friend done did some shit. It's almost like you know, you know when you fall out with somebody, you know who gonna go to what side. You know who gonna go with who. You know me, I'm a choose a side person. You know who gonna go with who. So after she chose her side, which if that's Natalie's best friend, that's the automatic side. That's how that worked. So girl, everybody would have been blocked. Simple and plain. <laughs> Everything she said after that, I would have been like, oh, I ain't even know you text me. What you said? <laughs> what you had said? 
I try to brush off. I try to be like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. But it hurt. Nah, brushing off. I was off like, girl, ain't nobody off. worried about Natalie. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing my own thing. I'm posting about me. I'm posting about my transitions. I'm posting about what I'm going through. I'm posting about me. There's no, I literally try to steer away from posting anything that has to do with that family. Girl, don't nobody worry about Natalie or whatever the case, whatever I said. She goes on to like say like, oh, who Natalie? The girl that got more money than you, that's doing better than you, that's doing like all this shit or whatever. And? <laughs> you know what I realized, y'all? When I finally decided to like just tap in to my inner me, just me, just fucking me, okay? I don't give a fuck about nobody. I never did, though. I never gave a damn about anybody's numbers. I never gave a damn about anybody's money. I can't get shit from your numbers, and I can't spend your money. I especially, money was at the top of the list of not giving a fuck for me. Like, I don't care how much money you have. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to treat the damn uh, millionaires like, like, oh, I treat the janitor like millionaires, too. I, I treat everybody the same. It don't matter how much money you got. You know, as long as you got some goddamn confidence about yourself, shit, it don't matter to me. I hang with millionaires. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not nowhere near that. But they wouldn't even be able to piss me off about that. I know you got money. And <laughs> I'm happy. Happiness is one of the biggest monetary values you can have. Happiness. And I'm finally in my own little bubble. I'm focusing on my community. And life is good this way. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel as though she shouldn't even made this video because she's sounding like she's hurt. And hurt for the wrong reasons. Hurt because Natalie got more money. Hurt because this best friend, who's Natalie's best friend, I mean, shit. You know, what you gonna do? That's Natalie's best friend, and that shouldn't have hurt you. But I get it. Maybe she loved them people more than they loved her. You know I know that feeling. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot. But, all right, I'll digress. Whatever, like, basically I can't compare. And I'm like, <clears throat> yeah. I literally just told you on fucking YouTube that shit's hard right now. So when, so oh, that crushed her. Yesterday. That crushed her. No, you should not have made this video. Going so much already and Girl, <laughs> if voice seen me doing this shit live, voice would have been like, Neek, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you sound hurt, no. And then you sound hurt for all the wrong reasons. Like, she's almost embarrassed at the fact that um, she don't have no, you know, she ain't up right now. You know what I'm saying? And the problem with that is, but Natalie and her brother and her sister and Easy, all of them over there making videos, she know they getting money. That's fucking with her. And obviously she's struggling financially to pay them probably high-ass bills. I completely get it. But sis gonna have to get a hold of herself. She gonna have to. She gonna have to get a hold of herself. Me yesterday with all this money. <laughs> like, yeah. Girl, we would have called you like, friend, get off this live. Oh, God. Natalie's doing better than you <sighs> and all Fuck this no. and whatever, whatever. Like, keep my name, keep my girl's name out your mouth and shit. Like, I'm happy. It's not. You're not happy, I'm happy for Natalie. I'm happy uh, for everybody. It's just like she not happy getting for that her. thrown in my face. Like, yeah, I know I'm fucking going through shit right now. I'm taking care of three kids. Like, if it was me by myself, bro, the way I would be hustling, the way I would be doing shit. But I take care of three children that need me mentally, physically, financially. So for this bitch to write me like on some childish shit 
I let it get to me and I'm so upset with myself. You did and you still are. I let it get to me and I wrote her back. God, I'm so stupid. And then to wake up to that shit this morning, it was just so much. It's too much, bro. Like, I don't I just want to be left alone. <laughs> leave Brittany alone. Just leave me alone. I just want to be left alone. I separate myself for a fucking reason. I separate myself for a reason. Like, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to do all this by myself. I don't... I'm just mm -hmm. trying to do my best. You know, I I've been I've been here, and, and granted, though, she do have kids and shit. We don't, That's a total different conversation. But I will say um, certain things can crush you, I guess, but after you go through it a few times, baby... <laughs> Shall it be like next? <laughs> I'm glad I can laugh at certain things that I go at because it used to hurt so bad. But you know, one thing about me, God always, every time I elevate, God separate me from somebody or some situation, um, per se, a situation or just anything. So anything that don't mean me no good, like it just go. Or maybe I didn't mean them no good. They just go. It is what it is. Either way, the, the shit that be happening for me to get separated from people or fall out with people or whatever the fuck is so beyond me at this point, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> so it's like, I, oh yeah, y'all uh, not fucking with each other now because um you decided, y'all decided to travel to a place, but you got your ticket before that person. So, um, since you got the ticket before that person, she don't like you no more. <clears throat> I like shit like that. Be like, you really fell out with me because I didn't, I got my plane ticket before you niggas with dead ass. Be like, hell yeah, bro. Like you got your plane ticket before me. Like I damn, why we couldn't get it at the same time. I just feel like that's fake. And I just feel like God has a crazy, you know, a funny sense of humor. And instead of it just being like, listen, my child, y'all don't need to be cool. Move it along. <laughs> it's just some wild shit like that. Listen, you look, like, look everything. <laughs> oh, no, man. I'm getting tested. I'm getting poked at. I chose to separate myself. I don't want any drama. They're not talking to me right now. That's their choice. And that's Girl, fine. Them folks don't. <laughs> I'd really rather it that way. And the kids are happy as heck. And it's just like, that's what's important. And that's what's important. I try to put on a smile, you know, when I'm feeling like this. But overall, guys, I have been happy. It's just like the last couple of days has been back to back to back. Jazz. Jazz. Jazz freaking texting me and trying to bully me into an argument and then I get a whole bunch of messages this morning and it's just like it was freaking overwhelming on top of the fact that I'm just like trying to oh, find my way you. through this whole like life you know anyway love you guys this might be long I don't know yeah don't ever and now on today's sponsors just don't even do that again, friend. Because I'm going to tell you right now, people don't give a fuck. Like, you'll be the one crying. you would be the one looking all sad and depressed. And, you know, just feeling as though, like, damn, y'all really don't care about me. <laughs> and the truth is, they don't. No, they do not. People get what they get from you. And they get the fuck. Okay? So... At the end of the day, I think she's going to have to work on her self-control, her self-discipline, and her self-love for her. And after you do that, I promise you, life gets better. None of that shit matters. You are more so concerned about your damn self, and them kids is the only ones that matter. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's all I got to say about that. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, hey.